Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me for a little walkthrough of my newest tutorial. This is for a trifold folio album. The papers I've used here are Love in Life by Nitwits, and they're full of camera images and sentiments, so perfect for album making. So I've used the pinks and the teals here, but there's a coral and a green as well. So there's a lot more papers than what you see in my project here. So it starts off with the cover, which also you can decorate as you wish. Um, this piece is all one topper in the kit. So I've printed off and cut it and just glued it so that it's a little pocket. So you can actually add your six by photo straight off into there. Or you can add some of the little ephemera pieces from the kit. So there's more which you can add in, date to remember, good times with. So all of these you can just tuck in there or if, as I said you can just add your photo. Then when you open it up you start off with this page. So I've kept this quite simple because this is where the magnets are to keep the album shut. So I've gone in with my Cool Cats um, 5x7 photo corner slot dies and then just printed off one of the cards from the kit, which is really good for album making. So it says recap of great times, some journaling space, some lines there which I'm not sure if you can see on camera the date and visits with friends and families. You can write all the details in there. So if this album's for a special trip or a special event, you could just write it all in there. And then it's a trifold album. So it's gonna open one more time. It's a little bit too big to be in shot all the time, but the right-hand side and the left-hand side are exactly the same. It's just some stacked pockets. So this is where you can put your photos in. So I've made it so you can put your four by four here. Now this pocket here in the tutorial, I'll show you it's not glued down. So here you can actually fit, let me grab a five by seven. So this is a five by seven photo mat. It goes all the way down. Now on this side, I've glued this second pocket. So you fit your four by sixes. This is just one of the paint strip which all the Knitwits kits come with. So this is the good life. So you can just put that in there. Oh, it's a bit long for that one, so I'll have to go into this side. And then again, as I said, this will fit four by four, five by seven, six by four, and then you can just add some extra little bits so the recipient can personalize it. So I'm gonna take these cards so I can take them through the album with me. So here, I've got a pocket here and a pocket here, so they open in opposite directions. And again, size to fit your six by four. And you can see the camera images coming in now, which come in the kit, which tie in perfectly because this paper you'll see later on in the album. So it's a folio album, so it's all built now on this center. So we're gonna open it to the left first. I've got a nice, big diagonal pocket, which is perfect for your 5 by 7 photos or your big journaling cards. Obviously you can still decorate here, there's more kits, so I'm going to leave these bits in the album so whoever gets it can glue bits in where they want. Then in the tutorial I'll show you how this can be made in two ways. So this is one long pocket if you want, which you can put your five by sevens in, but you can see mine won't go in. That's because I put a special hidden join in the middle. Let's grab these cards again. So your five by seven landscape photos can slot in here. Let's turn them around. Here we are. And then I've just added another piece of ephemera, ephemera there. And then this will open out. 
and reveal a second diagonal pocket. That just gives you a nice balance going across the symmetry. And then the middle are two nice deep pockets. If you can see, they've got a bit of a gusset to them there. So that's a quarter of an inch gusset. So when you put your six by four photos in here, you can really put in a lot of your photos in here. I think I put 10 in um, when I practiced and there was still room for more. So this album will hold quite a bit, despite there not being many pages to it. It's a nice, easy, quick project, which is what I'm all about. But obviously can be personalized whatever occasion, just depending on the papers you use. It'll all fold up, all magnetized shut. I don't leave it like that. Let's find something. There we are. Live every moment. It's all very good. Which it is. So if you like this album, stay tuned and I'll be taking you through how to make it step by step. So click on the thumbs up, click the subscribe button underneath. Click on the bell and you'll be notified when it goes live. And if you do make one, please come over to my Facebook group, Paper Crafting with Paul. And I'd love to see how you take this basic album and make it your own. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the tutorial.